this week. Every time you blink, you're going to jump forward in time. It could be a second, it could be five years. Embark on an emotional first-person narrative adventure where you control the story and affect its outcomes by blinking with your eyes. With this innovative technique, you will fully immerse yourself in a world of memories, both joyous and heartbreaking, as your whole life flashes before your eyes. The only way to fight against time is to create a work of genius, which might live on after you're gone. Time to get rid of us. Of us? Of me, maybe. You? You're irrelevant. Well, thank you so much. The fact is, you're f***ed. Nah, never lost a race in my life. The music's f***ing stressing me out. I'm so f***ing stressed. Relax. I know this track like the back of my hand. Another game coming later this month, after the dust settles from both Switchback and Saints and Sinners Chapter 2, is the next game from Exorcist Legion VR developer Wolf and Wood. The Last Worker is set to release on March 30th, and if this is your first time hearing about it, expect an emotional narrative adventure centered around the lone worker's last stand in an increasingly automated world, focused on a unique blend of work simulation and stealth gameplay. Of me, maybe. You? You're irrelevant. Well, thank you so much. The fact is, you're f***ed. A lot of PSVR 1 games have already come over to PSVR 2, but there are still literally hundreds that we're waiting to hear about. But this week, developer Candy Makers announced that their game Survive will be getting a massive PSVR 2 upgrade, coming soon. According to the developers, it'll allow for up to four-player co-op, will be cross-play with most other headsets, although not with PSVR 1, and will look graphically similar to the PC version. For the few people who actually picked it up on PSVR 1, though, I'm sorry to say that it won't be a free upgrade, but I can't imagine that applies to too many people. The small team over at Sumo Lab finally got their hands on a PlayStation VR 2 this week, so it looks like we should be seeing a port of Crisis Brigade 2 on PSVR 2 at some point in the near future. Now, I'm just spitballing here, but how great would it be if Sumo Lab included the levels from Crisis Brigade 1 with the more realistic art style and unlockables from the second to make the ultimate Crisis Brigade package? Guide a troop of mischievous tin soldiers through a magical, toy-filled world using a variety of whimsical and inventive contraptions to bounce, shoot, and glide them to their goal. Tin Hearts features over 40 levels of elaborate, time-bending, soldier-rooting puzzles during which you'll unravel an emotional, thought-provoking story. After a lot of back and forth as to whether Tin Hearts was even coming to PlayStation VR, developer Rogue Sun announced this week that it'll be hitting PSVR 2 this summer. What? do brilliant minds do then? Okay, so it's no surprise that Perp Games is publishing a physical version of Song in the Smoke Rekindled for PSVR 2, but I know a lot of cats out there will be happy to know that it's also coming to the States with an ESRB rating. In fact, you can pre-order it right now on Target.com and will be released this week. All right, a really quick one today, just about an upcoming product. Um, you might be aware I've been working on a PlayStation VR 2 gun stock. For anyone wishing they had an aim controller for PSVR 2, it looks like some options will be heading our way soon. Now, these won't be a new controller, but instead a mount for your two sense controllers to make two-handed weapons feel even more realistic in VR. I was definitely a skeptic before seeing these videos from Boke VR, where he shows how easily he can slide the sense controllers on and off the gun stock to grab a grenade or manually reload. So. Who knows? This could be pretty cool. Wow. 
One thing you'll see from a few shots during this is um, with a gun stock you don't necessarily have to aim. You can start shooting with, like, as bringing the gun up because you know you know your alignment between your hands. In fact I think I hit a couple of hip shots, hip fired up face shots. I think it was mine maybe earlier on. Maybe one coming up. Ah, the entertainment. We down first it has to the gallon night perfects the greatest thing. <laughs> Capcom has announced that a digital showcase will take place this week on Thursday, March 9th. Now while it's possible we could be seeing something new announced, it's far more likely that Capcom will only be giving us more information on Resident Evil 4, Monster Hunter, Exo Primal, and a few of their other announced titles. We're obviously hopeful that we'll see something more regarding the VR mode for Resident Evil 4, but honestly, I don't expect to see that until Sony decides to do their next showcase. The show is expected to last 26 minutes and will kick off at 5.30pm Eastern. We gotta keep moving forward. We will beat this. Shoot to kill! Every week, Amazing Game Cat and friend of the channel, Professor Lilith, organizes a multiplayer meetup to give some old PSVR 1 games some love and attention. It happens every Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern, and this week we'll be playing Zombie Shooter After the Fall. Remember that After the Fall is crossplay on all headsets, so you can join whether you're playing on PSVR 1 or PSVR 2. If you can't make today's meetup, don't worry, it happens every week at the same time, so make sure you click the link in the description below to join our Discord and join us for the next one. This week.